Hello, my gorgeous Taurus. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Taurus, I hope for the collective watching this that you're all feeling wonderful. I hope, I really hope that the week is just turning out in your favor. I really wish that for you. For those that are returning back to this channel, welcome back. Thank you for your time. Very important. Thank you for that. And for those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, well, a very warm welcome. Everybody here is welcomed. And also, thank you for your time, right? Time is very important. So I do appreciate that. So Taurus, I want to get straight to this reading. I really don't like to lose time. I want to just get straight to the point. Now, you probably saw the cover art that I created and it's what is the hot tea? Now, I heard a lot of people a few years ago tell me, oh, what's the tea? And I didn't understand what they meant, right? I don't really use slang, but, um, or it's a saying, I suppose you can say. And I started to ask around and people were telling me, oh, it's like the gossip, you know, tell me the goss. Oh, I want to find out what's the tea, what's the gossip. So let's pour, you know, a cup of tea and let's talk about it. Or, you know, let's get to the nitty and gritty or tell me something that I know that nobody else knows and nobody else should know. But how I interpret it myself personally, because I really am not a fan of gossip, don't like it, ain't involved. I see it more as let's get to the point, right? Let's get to the heart of this matter. And this is going to be Taurus about someone that you already know, whether you're with them or not, whether you're talking to them or not, what is the absolute truth of this connection and everything that you need to know? So I'm gonna get straight to the point. There is no extended reading. I wanna make this a full reading here for you. But to do that, I'm going to do an energy checking on your person. So this entire reading will be more based on your person's perspective about you. Now, as I shuffle, Taurus, you don't have to, but I do encourage you to subscribe. That way you never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every single Wednesday without fail. We love picking up on your energy, Taurus, as I always say, right? You're the OG, yeah, you're the boss. You got boss energy, a true leader. That's why you're being represented by the bull. You take things on head first. You don't stop until you finish. Quite admiring. But every Tuesday, there's two full readings uploaded for you in your dedicated playlist. There are shorts video available in the community page. Every day, there is an update or a post that may resonate with you. And on the weekend, you get a bonus love tarot reading. And there's a lot of other bonuses coming up, Taurus, just for you. So a lot of content here available for you. If you are interested, all the direct links to the decks that we do use, all the cards that we use are in the description box below. And if you go, oh, they said one more. Okay. Sorry, that's my spirit team. We all have a spirit team. If you are interested also in the description box below, um, all the information there to purchase our ebook slash workbook, which is dedicated to you. It's called self-love and it runs a lot more deeper than just lighting a candle. There's a lot of prompts and um, obviously it's got the workbook there. It's beautiful visually presented. That's available there. The link is there to our direct official website. And also if you want to be exclusively taught by myself and Gigi in the box below, we have available right now our signature online master tower course. You're going to be taught by us. It's 100% online, self-paced, no rushing, no homework, no deadlines lifetime access and of course even beyond the course Gigi and I will always be there to help you and you get a beautiful certificate of completion at the end here we go enough about me talking let's talk about your person three more oh no they say that's the last one no more okay here we go bottom of the deck now I haven't used these cards in a very long time but I felt compelled this week and your person could be taking screenshots of you it says getting evidence, proof and facts, but you know, kind of in the years leading up to, you know, really getting to know this deck, every time I see screenshot, if you are easily accessible online, they could just be taking screenshots because you look absolutely stunning, beautiful, handsome in that photo, um, screenshots of anything that you post, or if you're with someone, um, especially your stories, um, I don't know why they're showing me Instagram. If, I don't know if you can even take a screenshot of the stories, I bet you can, but they're taking screenshots and they're looking a lot at that phone in regards to you rejected dirt digging um some of you may have rejected this person in the past but they could also be watching you from afar because i think they're upset that you're going to reject them so you obviously have history with them so let's get straight to the point um yeah they're appearing unfazed like they're not bothered but really analyze this photo does that person really look unbothered do they look unfazed no 
they're sitting with themselves. We know that kind of crossing your arms is more of a protective um, defense. That's body language right there. It's science. So your person here, it's like, yeah, I'm pretending that I don't care. But when no one's watching, yeah, I am phased by this. More, please. Romantic love affair. Sex fix secret lover. Okay, this may have been a relationship that was under wraps. And when I see this card, sometimes, yeah, usually, more often than not, this could be that there was a third party here. Something's happening with your person's money. So I know this appears like we're being nosy, but this is the whole point of the reading. And I always, I'm very blunt and very direct, but always approaching every reading with respect, right? Because we are dealing with real issues, especially our emotions. Your person may be, uh, they maybe have trouble here paying their bills. Especially if they need spousal support, child support, um, there's no money left for them. Mmm, grudge holder. Again, you know, I just saw this card under unfazed and I think they're afraid here. They're worried that you're holding a grudge against them. It's like they feel the whole world has a grudge against them. So now they're holding a grudge. More please. Yeah, legal issues. I did pick that up already. Court, judges, immigration, lawyers, separation, divorce child support, spousal support, um, they could even be separating from a business um, partnership here. Ooh, okay, your person's attached to you. We've got obsessive lover here. Dangerously toxic, unhealthy possessiveness, could mean a karmic relationship here. I think they're very infatuated. They definitely could be emotionally attached to you. Yeah, I knew there was a third party. We have love triangle. Third party, multiple lovers, choices here. Things got out of hand. Not because of you, it's because of your person. And they know that. They're crying. I knew that. I knew it. Every time I see unfazed, it's like, I don't care. But if it's supported by other cards, which it's not, because that's your person crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. Last one, please. Same she. I don't like to swear in my readings. Different day. It's a merry go round with your person. Let me split the deck. Yeah, they've got bad habits. So we've got drugs, addictions, toxicity, and obviously, as a reader, the messages go beyond this, right? It doesn't have to be something as dangerous as illicit drugs. Um, they could just be like, obviously, a gambler, retail therapy. They spend money that they don't have. That's why they're probably a little bit bankrupt. It's going towards legal issues or could be going toward that third party. Um, they could just be infatuated with you as well, self-medicating. Hmm. Life is not peachy for your person at the moment. They're pretending that they're not crying over you. Give this person an Oscar. I'm not being sarcastic, but um, you may truly believe that they don't care about you, but they do. They're just pretending. They're pretending here that they're unfazed. Oh boy. Okay. You may have just dodged a bullet here, but I, I, you know, obviously tarot has a lot more deeper messages here. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they put you in a third party. I'm wondering if you know who the third party is. Were you aware of that third party at the start? Because I'm almost hearing that that third party said something about you. Maybe even if they don't know you, but they know of you, but not your name. I'm not sure. Thank you. Highlight a message. What are they saying? This is what's coming. This is what's to come. All right, we'll see. Three more. Two more. Last one. Here we go. I want to check this one out first. What's to come, what is coming is messages from your person. Here they come. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, the second fastest moving energy in the entire deck. This can also show like geographical distance, also emotional distance. So they really, it's like they can't feel you anymore. They can't pick up on your energy. This is a very quick, sudden flurry of quick movement. Here they come and there's a lot of messages coming your way. I'm hearing that they're just going to be like pursuing you relentlessly. Bottom of the deck, that's you right there. I'm not saying that you're outside, but five of pentacles is Taurus energy. Did this person abandon you? Did they just pull the plug? They disappeared? They ghosted you? They blocked you? They chose that third party? What happened? Look at that. We've got the five and the four. That's Capricorn energy. Oops. I think some of you are holding on to the past of what this person did. And in a way, I don't blame you. But you, uh, you've made a very good decision by putting yourself first which is not selfish by moving forward into karma waters six of swords aquarius energy this person will be returning just gonna i'm definitely gonna give you that heads up 
We are reading this from their perspective. We do have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. One cup for you, one cup for them. Traditionally, the King of Cups only has one cup, even the Queen of Cups, and here they come. So yeah, judgment, Scorpio energy. That's you right there, Taurus energy, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, they are returning. Yes, there is this more level of emotional maturity here. They want to be very loyal to you, but I don't know if that's going to fly by you. This is a very messy situation. And I feel like a lot of you, it's like every time you think of this person, you talk to him, you look at them in the eyes, you just remember how they pulled the plug on this, how they acted. That's not nice. And I do not blame you. I'm on your side here. Your person's current story, please. Yeah, they're coming back. There's the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. That's the most romantic night. You're going to receive an apology from this person. I'm hearing along the lines, sorry, I made a mess of this. Sorry, I screwed up. Sorry, I broke your heart. They want to reunite here. What's their thoughts about you and only you? Yeah, they're strategizing, they're planning. The Three of Wands is a very positive card, but it's like, hmm, when do I do it? So they're really thinking about this. How do I approach Taurus today, tomorrow, maybe around their birthday? Because let's be honest, your birthday is really not that far off. You know, this year is going very quickly here. So they're just thinking about how to present themselves to you. Let's talk about their main feelings, please, about you. Yeah, they're going to make a quick, impulsive decision now. That's the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That's the fastest moving knight. The knight is looking to the past. Mm. And the sword is pointing up, open, honest communication. They feel they need to get closer to you. They feel like they're running out of time. So even though, how could I say this? Um, they're not doing anything impulsive. Their actions, they may seem impulsive. I think they're just going to wake up one day in a hurry, like they're losing time. They want to talk to you. How's your person behind the scenes, please, when no one is watching? Because they, remember I said it's like uh, they're appearing unfazed that they don't care, but they do. Let's add more on that. Yeah, see, it's almost the same. Look at that. The defensive position. Don't talk to me. Don't get close to me. I want to be on my own. The Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's a lot of gossip around your person. The Nine, I don't know why I threw that card. The Nine of Wands can often show there is a lot of gossip around your person. They're a little bit defensive here. And it's almost like that's the wounded warrior, right? The wounded warrior is allowed to be bruised, batten and beaten, even metaphorically, hopefully. They're not allowed to give up. So they are certainly not giving up on you, on the prospect of winning you back. What's the beating heart of your person's reading, please? It's pretty much a summary of all of this so far for your person. In regard to you, they are extremely stressed. Look at that. Mm. Ten of Wands, more Sagittarius energy, often known as the most stressful card in the entire deck. Burdens, too many responsibilities. <clears throat> Your person actually, excuse me, they may have multiple jobs. I'm hearing multiple part-time jobs, one full-time, because they are pretty much running out of money. It could definitely be going towards legal fees because we know lawyers, you know, they're, they're not cheap, right? Um, I was going to say they're not expensive. No, they're not cheap. But there's a lot of burdens here. There's a lot of stress. They may be feeling very achy. And that's just stress manifested in the body here. Mm, okay. Are they going to do anything about it? Anything else? Yes, they will. I had to look twice. Actually, we've got the strength card. Leo energy. So they're building up their self-esteem, their courage. Because they do love you. They're often, you know, the card of unconditional love is associated. Um, it's very strongly connected and tied to the strength card here so they absolutely want to win you back but to do that they need to build up their courage their confidence here is it's flat it's actually you know buried beneath the ground here mm. yeah they don't want to argue with you i feel like there could have been a shouting match between the both of you or there was a very big disagreement toward the end and that was like you know they say the straw that broke the camel's back you know that was the last drop before the cup overflowed um, more please. Anything else? Is a person hiding anything that they want to abstain from you? Or is there anything that they're planning that they want to give you? Let's see. Wow, well, yeah. Nothing bad. It's the Ace of Pentacles. That's you. Taurus energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So they're just secretly planning on giving an offer. They want a breakthrough. They want a solid new start. This person wants to commit to you and only you. How do they want to move forward, please? In saying that is the Two of Wands. Aries energy so they've reached a crossroads now now usually with that too you know first they're kind of juggling the idea of should I reach out should I not is you know is it worth it is Taurus gonna 
I don't know what Taurus is going to say, but usually it's a card of action because it's a wand, it's fire sign, very strong Aries energy. They can be any star sign though, any gender and any age. So they, you know, moving forward, they want you to move forward, meet them in the middle. Okay. In closing, what else is your person going to do, please? Because um, it, it appears to me that they want to save this relationship and we have the surprise card. We have the page of cups. Interesting. Hmm. So we have the page, we have the knight, we have the king of cups. That's a lot of um, admiration. That's a lot of love, emotions. Um, they're still going to be pursuing you. You know, we have a big apology. I think they owe you another smaller apology, perhaps something that, I don't know if it's you know about it, you know about it, but it's not as big as this big apology. Something's going to happen. But um, this is often the start of a small budding romance. So they wish to start from the ground up with you. Okay, split the deck, please. Justice more legal issues um, following your person, Libra energy. Of course, I want to balance things out between the both of you. That is also an apology that is backed by facts, not excuses, right? Mm, but that's a very big card of yes, yes, they're going to come back. It's a positive card, but in doing so, they're going to have to earn your trust, love and respect back. And that's going to take time. All right, here we go. Let's get more, please. Two more the same. So the main deck that I'm using is the Cairo Marchetti deck. And yeah, your person's stuck. Look at this. This never happens. Emotionally, mentally, they're stuck. Uh, this is the Harmony Tarot deck. Highly recommend it. Absolute works of art they are. Honestly, my hat goes off to the illustrators here. Can't even draw stick figures. Here we go. Five, four, three. Oh, where are we going? I'm going to put between these two, two, one. Again, I'm hearing the word moving forward. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look at that card first. What do we have, please? Mm, yeah, look at that. Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. They want to move forward, absolutely. But if you haven't heard from them in a while, this is why. Because they're nervous. This is the card of their ego, which is telling them, oh, you're not good enough for Taurus. There's no way this situation is going to be saved. You're hopeless. Just give up. Throw in the towel. Um, but they're not going to, though, because these ones are action and they're passion. They're nervous, though. They're very anxious about this. And they just don't want to be alone. Yeah, they want to meet you face to face. That's face to face meetings. Three of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn energy. Again, showing you that third party. They will fight for you, though. Oh, they're coming in with gusto and passion. You got the Knight of Wands, the second fastest moving Knight, and the Seven of Wands, Leo energy, okay, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries um, energy. So here they come to, um, yeah, I see here that they want to win you back despite opposition, despite challenges, hurt, separation. You may even turn your back on them. You may even block them. Maybe you've already done it, but they're still going to fight for you. They want to save this. Hmm. All right, at least they're not happy of what they did. They kind of see themselves as quite selfish with the Five of Swords. And there's also the Five of Cups. Scorpio energy. That's like mourning over the death of this relationship. They want to come back home to you. The Four of Wands, Aries energy. Mm. You. See, that's you right there. Regardless of your gender, the Empress is Taurus energy. We also have Libra energy. Oh, boy. So how does this make you feel? Because I'm already hear hearing some of you saying like, hell no, there's no way I'm taking this person back. And some of you I'm hearing, it's like, well, they're going to have to prove it. And I do agree with you. This person really messed up. Wow. Well, it's so chaotic. Their story, well, they're preparing themselves to return because they want to move into karma waters with you. That is a six of swords, Aquarius energy. Wow. So even if there's distance between the both of you, well, that literally is going to unfaze them. They're, they just want to move forward with you. Smooth sailing. They want to heal everything with you. Their thoughts while they're planning about when to send you a message. Communique here. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They will be taking action. I feel like they're trying to strategize and analyzing. They want to find the right words. I'm hearing for the vast majority of you, it's just going to start off first as a text message. I don't think they're brave enough to call you or to show up at work. I'm not, I'm not picking that up at all because they're very nervous here. Eight of Swords for me doesn't... 
really predict a lot you know it's more about the ego card and they're probably feeling literally very trapped by their own circumstances there could be by that third party but i'm not seeing them here which is really good their feelings is that well it's almost like they're running out of time but look at that because they're procrastinating they're delaying themselves they're holding themselves back from making a decision two of swords is libra energy i often find that if someone goes back and forth back and forth and then they're nervous it's probably because they've got they're the ones with the guilty conscience because they know what they've done so there's a little bit of a wall between their head on and their heart they're like on the fence it's like i can approach taurus this way but no i'm not going to do it or i do it this way no i'm not going to do that so they're just nervous look at that when no one's watching you know they've got the nine of wands and that is clarified by another nine a very independent number nine of pentacles of virgo energy um i think they're very stressed here that i think they know that you're single but they also know at the same time it's just a matter of time before someone holds your hand and replaces this person they there's something here where they they feel that you're too good for them that they're not enough for you that's the minor arcana of the empress which is you Tor that's taurus energy that's you right there six of cups see that can't stop thinking about you scorpio energy they want to return they want to come back queen of wands yeah they're going to take action um and i am seeing there definitely was a third party situation now they're very very stressed that's why they're alone they're a bit hermity at the moment so the hermit is virgo that is the wise sage they've got the lantern of course i want to cast light back into the situation traditionally the hermit is holding a staff which means they've earned it the staff represents wisdom accumulated experience now so what i do like is that they have learned from this so they're not returning with rose tinted glasses it's like oh my god i can't wait to get back to taurus they're going to take me back no they've done a lot of inner work self-reflection a good hard look in the mirror now they've become if anything a little bit more spiritual now or even a little bit more religious they're seeing the lessons here they realize this is their cross to bear though it's just the one thing that terrifies them that scares them if you say no and that's reflected with that eight of swords obviously they're going to make moves here with the um, strength card and that's being reflected by the four of swords the aftermath of heartbreak libra energy rest recuperation recovery so your person may their health may have not been the best in the past like even if it's something simple as a cold post-surgery um, injury here but they're getting a lot better here i like that that's i mean i don't want anyone to suffer but that's very promising but mentally they are gathering their thoughts and planning on what to say to you they're just going back and forth like this <laughs> so they may be like mentally exhausted here i'm seeing mental and physical exhaustion the ace of pentacles please wow it's the fool here they come and they're already on their way because usually we see the front of the fool but now we're seeing their back aries energy so they're literally they're on their way to you to give you that ace of pentacles moving forward they want the two of wands and they want you that's you right there again queen of pentacles that is interesting i've got a side message here um if indeed was a third party um your person's going to let you know a lot more um if you are dealing with a divine masculine um there may be issues with the mother of their children or their own mother but you're going to find that out it's not going to be as bad as you think it is uh -uh. all right look at that in closing their vision for the future is the page of cups look at this and another card of true love that is the two of cups cancer energy so within two months this person wants to be back in your heart back in your life wow that is beautiful isn't it but to be continued right the ten of wands they're stressed you're going to say no eight of cups who are they walking away from um anything that worked in their life and that's not working ace of wands yeah they want a fiery passionate new start with you so this is the outcome that they want with you page of cups the very romantic page and the two of cups also known again after the ace of cups is super romantic we have a soulmate connection here and yes i can see that you have a soft spot for this person but it doesn't mean you're going to take them back but remember we are reading this from your person's perspective so just get ready because they will be re-entering your life at the moment their life is a little bit of a mess they're trying to recuperate their money i can see that I've got their eyes, you know, on either their studies, their career, their finances. There's some legal issues. We have a third party here. But at the end of the day, they're choosing you and only you. And a good sign that shows to me as a reader, after 26 years of doing readings, has someone really changed? It's the Hermit. The Hermit, Judgment and the Death card. So, yeah, okay, this is going to take time. 
They do want to save this relationship. They don't want you to go anywhere because this person is in love with you. I know that's, that, that's you know, you may not believe me, but it's reflected here in the cards. Um, funny enough, because yeah, Gigi is doing, uh, her reading is already uploaded in your playlist. It's live. And I know she told me last week that the title for your reading is called Are You Meant To Be Together? So this definitely could be TBC, to be continued. If you have time today or on the weekend, check out her reading because that can actually, I'm wondering if she's going to pick up anything here and see if you're actually going to end up being together. Um, always remember, power to you, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you the very, very, very best. And um, yeah. I'll see you in the next couple of days. Never ever change for anyone and have a superb week slash weekend. Bye.